What's up you guys? Thank you for stopping by Galdon Gaming. I'm going to apologize right away, okay? Now, the reason I went ahead and did this was because of the old saying, if you can't beat them, join them. Royal Giants, are they coming back? It sure seems like it to me. And uh, so I thought I would give it a try with this kind of unusual deck with so many different spells. I've got the Log, the Arrows, and the Lightning, and of course the Royal Giant. So I've hated the Royal Giant for a long time, one of my least favorite cards by far, but I just could not stay away any longer. thought I would give it a try and see what I could do with it. Now these are ladder matches up at uh, level 13, somewhere around 4,800 trophies or so. So not quite like global leaderboard quality, but I did manage to grab some wins with this deck and maybe just because of the Royal Giant being such a troll card, drop it right on the water and it takes about three steps and oh, okay, well, it doesn't always get right to the tower. Sometimes people do have the right counter, but now that this guy has exposed his Inferno Tower, we know that it's just a matter of time of waiting for that card to be out of the rotation or maybe hitting it with lightning right as the Royal Giant moves in. So a minute and a half or so left. He keeps on dropping the Hog Rider to go after my Furnace. And uh, so that's easily countered the Hog Rider out of the way and the Mega Minion on the way there. Both towers firing on that Hog Rider when the Furnace is dropped right in the dead center. So the Mega Minion not getting the job done. I do have arrows here, very thankful I had those ready. So his Goblin Barrel Trickery isn't going to work, but it turns out this is a bit of a bait deck. He's got Goblin Barrel, he's got the Minion Horde, and of course the Skeleton Army. So just trying to bait out those cards that I might use to take those out. He drops his Princess as well. So a big combination of cards that could be tough to deal with, especially because really the only splash damage I have is going to be those arrows. Everything else is going to have to deal with the units individually. Going to be a little bit harder to control. And here we go. This time I'm going to drop the Royal Giant towards the back. And that's simply because I know that the Inferno Tower, it's a matter of time. He's going to drop it. But this time I'll be ready with a lightning spell, whatever else I need, to get that Inferno Tower out of the way and get the Giant to the tower. Now the Furnace goes down the left. Unfortunately, that means I have to deal with the Minion Horde on the right. And there's the lightning spell takes out the Inferno Tower and the Royal Giant at full health lands on the tower. Going to work, I counter the Skeleton Army as well, so we're going to get several big shots in with that handheld cannon. In the meantime, I've got two furnaces up and working, countering the goblins again easily. Time counting down and the fire spirits are going to get me there just barely within range of the lightning spell and as time runs out, here it comes, the coup de gras, the lightning spell grabs the tower, time is out, and I grab the one crown win. So again, not proud of using the royal giant, but hey, all is fair. I, I haven't crossed the line to the expo in the mortar yet, so at least, hey, I have a little bit of self-respect and dignity, alright? Okay. So here we go, sure enough, now I am facing another level 13 player, and yes, he's brought a royal giant of his own. So I don't have to feel quite so dirty, starting out with the splitting of Barbarians. This I usually just use when I don't know what else to do at the very beginning. And it works out pretty well. Sometimes the player will ignore the other two, the two Barbarians on the left. This time he did not. Mini P.E.K.K.A goes down. I've got several units there though, and the Mega Minion and Archers both get there. He decides to push right lane at the same time. The Log stops the Fire Spirits. The Ice Spirit stalls that Hog Rider for a little bit. He's going to get some damage on the tower, but not a great deal. I definitely won that exchange. As you can see, his left tower under a thousand hit points, and we still haven't even gotten down to the final two minutes. So things resetting, both players gaining Elixir again. You can see he is ahead of me by about three Elixir. So it's a matter of waiting and seeing what he's going to drop. He's got the wizard, so we know he's trying to put together a big push. So rather than wait and defend, I figure let's force him to counter the Royal Giant again on the left-hand side. So he throws barbs. I've got the fireball for them. They are going to be handled by the tower. And the wizard ends up coming across solo. So he never had that chance to put together a big push. Here comes his own Royal Giant. The Mega Minion is going to meet it. Going to try to stall it out a little bit more with the Ice Spirit. And the archers doing a little bit of work right there. Again, about 90 seconds left. And as you can see, his left tower just about gone. The solo archer takes it down to under 100 hit points. And that was absolutely perfect. Now a log or a zap is going to do the trick. So we take that tower out of the way. 
and we're ahead 1-0 again. Just a matter of trying to hold the opponent off for the last 60 seconds or so. In comes the Hog Rider, going to try to push it back with the Log. Also works on the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Squeezing in the Barbarians. He's got a Log and a Zap spell of his own. We've got under 900 hit points left on that tower. But again, time is running out. And it's just a matter of keeping the pressure on. So I drop another Royal Giant. This is going to force him to defend it rather than just push after my tower. Fireball gets good value there as well. About 35 seconds left. Just maybe one more push to shut down. The archers almost missed that log completely. Only one gets hit by it. There it is. Final 30 seconds. Another hog rider going to get frozen and shoved back. The archers do a great job. Another zap spell on the tower. Not going to do it. Even a royal giant right here isn't going to be able to take that tower out. And time is simply going to count down. The royal giant again putting pressure. This was just in case maybe somehow he did take that tower down. I would be pretty far ahead on hit points. But here it is, final five seconds. Royal Giant going to get a shot or two in, but it's not going to happen. Time runs out, and another dirty, filthy, nasty Royal Giant win. Hey, I'm not proud, but it was a good game. It was relatively close. Jax and his Royal Giant put up a good fight. So here we go again. This time it's Gatotko, Gatotkoko, Gatokoko. All right, so anyway, Royal Giant, and this works out pretty well because you see he's committed that full-size P.E.K.K.A., down the left lane at the beginning of this battle. So kind of caught him off guard. And the Royal Giant is going to get well over a thousand hit points off that tower before it finally falls. Now we've got to stop that charging. That's not a way to stop a charging. Jeez. Not a brilliant move right there, but maybe my hands were a little bit tied. I lose about a thousand hit points off my own tower. And then there's a blast from the past. Not something you see every day. A poison spell. Not sure why the poison spell, but... Okay, that's why I need to upgrade my log. Come on, please, give me a log in the shop. This has been such pain, having a level 2 log against level 5 princesses, and watching her just shake off the log and move forward drives me crazy. Alright, this guy though, full of surprises. He's got P.E.K.K.A. Double Prince, you don't see that every day. He's got a Poison Spell, and he's got Elixir Collectors. I just, I was completely shocked time and time again by this guy's deck. But it's going to work out okay. We just have to hold him off. You can see that I'm protecting that right tower now. Skeleton Army does a great job. His zap comes in, but not before that P.E.K.K.A. gets ground down a little bit. Got to try to stop it. The Mega Minion once again. Just barely going to get the job done before it gets to the tower. Mega Minion takes that P.E.K.K.A. out along with the Fire Spirits. The Wizard goes as well. So great value on that Mega Minion right there. Here comes a big group of Fire Spirits. They could get the tower down. Almost, yes, by themselves. Five fire spirits. Looked like four of them got to the tower, just annihilating that tower with 60 seconds left. And, well, it was at this point in the battle that my opponent decided, I guess he had had enough, and uh, it was all over. So you can see he's run to full elixir. He's decided it's just not worth his while. And, you know, I'm not going to give you a hard time for this. I've done this myself. Sometimes the sheer frustration of it falling that far behind with less than a minute left, you have no chance. But I'm not going to give up the chance for three quick crowns, so we take him down, and it's another Royal Giant win. And again, not suggesting you use this deck, but it's working for me right now. Now, you guys might have difficulty using the deck you want because you can't get the legendary card you want, but, well, my Twitter kind of been blowing up since that episode about Galadon wants to see your, I mean... Galdon wants to open your chest, okay? I like big... No, I, I want to I help you open your chests, okay? In a clean, normal way. So keep on tweeting me those pictures. If you don't know the rules, make sure you check out the video because I laid down five or six very specific rules that you need to follow in order to be in the running for this. And I've already chosen a bunch of winners. More will be coming. I will be doing a weekly series on this and we'll see just how many legendary cards the viewers can get. As you can see, my Twitter does tend to get a little bit crowded. So just a couple of friendly tips. Uh, the magic word, please, works really well, does help you get noticed, and maybe a little bit of originality to the image or the text that you put on the tweet. Anyway, there's a winner right there. There's more coming. Thank you guys again, as always, for sticking around all the way to the end of this episode. Please do hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe for Daily Clash content. And of course, I hope to see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks.
Donald, did you say you wanted to see my chest? That's not right. 